Hey guys, Nash here, and today I'll show you how to counter other snipers with the so-called counter sniping tactic and a loadout for the scout class. So with a scout class you can make some amazing plays with this loadout and you can manage to wipe out whole squads alone and not to be noticed. The gadgets you need in order for counter sniping to work is the trench periscope and the sniper decoy. Trench periscope is a really powerful tool in the right hands. With it you can mark enemies that you can later on shoot with ease because you will see their whole silhouette even through gas, smoke or debris flying around and sometimes through walls which is insane if you ask me but Probably the most important part about the periscope is that your enemies do not see you. So it's like you were never even there when they scoped the perimeter and that is what makes this gadget so powerful. It also works nicely in a combination of just tossing a grenade on the ground and digging a hole and then just periscoping out while you are inside a hole. Most likely no one will notice you while you do this and you have the advantage of sniping other people without being noticed. There is just so many ways of using the periscope. You can combine gas, smoke or incendiary nades with the periscope and you will still be able to shoot through all of the particles flying around because the enemy's silhouettes will be visible because you mark them with the trench periscope. Probably one of the strongest builds for the sniping at the moment. Now the second gadget that you are going to need is the sniper decoy. These handy decoys can sometimes save your life. So how do they work? Well, you can place their height however you like. You would most likely want to place them near you behind a rock just for the heads of the decoy to peek so the enemy thinks that there is a sniper trying to kill their teammates. To them it will look like a living person so they'll shoot the decoy and most likely it'll be easy for you to figure out that you are being shot and from where. The decoys warn you of enemies shooting in your direction so always when that happens pull out your periscope, scout out the perimeter and snipe out your enemies. It is such a good combo to use that you do not want to miss out on it. Also sniper decoys are quite good against other enemies lurking around as they would also want to spray you down and kill you so as soon as you notice multiple shots taken at your dummy you can just pull out your pistol and kill the lurking enemy. With this kind of a loadout I always managed to pull top kills and really minimum deaths that were either to a tank or a plane and rarely an enemy sniper or a medic. One thing also that I didn't mention is it's not that only you benefit from the periscope, your whole team does too. You mark tanks that other friendly tanks in plane C and they see the silhouette too so it's easy for them to take out the tanks that are currently marked and they can take out them with ease. Now the guns that I'm using with this loadout are the Gavar 98 Sniper and the M1903 Marksman. Both of the guns have a strong kick and the sweet spots for the 100% damage in the chest is quite good. Around 80 plus meters for the Gavar 98 and around 100 meters plus for the M1903. So if you like greater distances go for the M1903 and if you like to be more up close go for the Gavar. Of course if you use other sniper rifles by all means do not change it up just because I said to pick those kind of snipers. If you are comfortable with other snipers use them too of course. This kind of a loadout works perfectly on open maps and maps where there is a lot of rocks and covers like Empire's Edge, Monte Grappa or the Foul Fortress. Of course you can use this build on other maps but not with a high success rate as at these three maps. And of course you can sometimes even work out this build with like short range snipers but you would usually want to go with the high range snipers because the trench periscope really makes a difference on a higher distance with a combination of course with the sniper decoys. Anyways guys this would be it for this video, drop a like if you liked the video and share it if you wanted. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about this build and counter sniping. Do you like it? What would you change and how good has it been serving you if you actually tried it out? Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, I'll be making more Battlefield 1 videos and some other game videos. Don't forget to check out my other builds, I actually made a couple for the Battlefield 1 and um, yeah, enjoy playing Battlefield yourself. See you in the next video and goodbye.